Man, nothing like a good old cup of diggum to begin the morning. Billy, 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 Billy. Let's castrate him. Hi, it's me. I'm your dad. And I got here a Logan Prime drink for us. Blue Raspberry. I know it's your favorite. You want to share with me, champ? Let's take it as a family. Oh, jeez, what's happening? Oh, God, there's a man. Oh, God, there's a flood. Holy shit, what the fuck is that? Hi, it's me, the Thinking Neanderthal, and I need to have a talk to talk with you real fast before this video starts. I'm about to say some crazy shit. I really am about to say some crazy bonkers stuff that you would most likely only hear on Always Sunny in Philadelphia, maybe the Venture Brothers, or some crazy Lovecraftian novel. But I really want you to bear with what I'm about to tell you because you're most likely going to think he's insane. Is he okay? Does his mom love him? All that being said, have a very open mind with what I'm about to tell you because I apologize in advance if your brain melts. Mm -hmm. That's all I got to tell you. If you're still here, why are you here? Have you ever heard of something that is called the Sumerian King List? Well, if you said yes, chances are you actually paid attention in your sixth grade history class learning about everything in the Middle East. That was me. Or if you said no, you're 100% that person that was able to go on vacation every single year, maybe even every month. You were just allowed to just not be in school and you will go out having the time of your life. And I also bet you're that person that scored that winning touchdown in 2015. And because of that, everyone still talks about you and loves you because you, you did it. You saved the game with that touchdown. And now you probably can't advance further in life, actually, unfortunately, because that was your only purpose in life, and that's what everyone told you. So you've just been living off that. And I bet you're even in a cardboard box right now, and you don't know what to do with your life, all because you won that winning touchdown, and you let it go to your head. I'm so sorry. I don't know where any of that came from. So the Ancient Sumerian Kings List is a compilation of every king that has existed in ancient Sumeria from beginning to end, and it's all on one list. Now this list is made from other sources, so someone just didn't keep one list from beginning to end, like, here my boy, pass this down. No, none of that. It was a bunch of scribes that were going off, you know, we had a king during this time. Here's records of that. Oh, thank you. But there's something strange about this list. Where do I start? Oh, I know. Um, this list starts in 274,000 BC. Holy shit. That is almost 300,000 years ago. You know what was around 300,000 years ago? Big freaking mammals. You got those big elephants that are furry. You got whatever the heck this is. And don't get me started on these. I hate these so much. Regardless, you get where I'm getting with. If this king's list is accurate, that means there were kings and cities during the times of the ancient world. Just imagine you're, you're one of these ancient, ancient peoples living 200,000 years ago in your king city, and you're out gardening, protecting your carrots, your broccoli, all that good shit that you invented. And all of a sudden, there is a 10-foot-tall Gigantopithecus ape looking down at you. He scratches his ass and goes, I'm gonna clap your booty. You might not want to live in that world if you're that person, 
but I would want to live in this world where you are that person because this sounds incredibly amazing. Prehistoric animals existing with ancient uh, empires or some shit. Crazy, I know. But get this, it gets better. These dudes back then were living for thousands of years. Not just hundreds or maybe a couple decades like us dweebs that aren't healthy, obviously. But the first king city was the city of Urdu. And there were two kings in that city. I'm going to butcher their names. Um, there was Alilim. Uh, he ruled for basically 29,000 years. And then the next person, Alagar, oof, um, lived for 36,000 years. But then someone must have kicked his ass. And then the kingship went to another city. And someone at some point after 100,000 years kicked his ass. And then the kingship went to another city. And there was a couple other ass kickings, just to be clear. And at some point, there was something called the Great Flood. This Great Flood wiped everything out. It was crazy. Shit was wild. And humanity started back up, but now everyone's aging normal like us. I guess we're sick or something. We don't have the spiritual juice anymore. So after the Great Flood, kings are only ruling for 96 years, 28 years, 15 years. You get it. Everything's boring and normal now. Yeah. But let's rewind a little bit. Now, let's just say the Sumerians' kings list is real. That, again, means prehistoric world is with ancient Sumeria. Crazy shit's happening, obviously. <laughs> But the Sumerians have another interesting fact up their sleeves. In a weird twist of events, they were aware that there were other humans on this planet. And they are aware that we came from other humans. This gets weirder. Their mythology literally goes that the Anunnaki worked with another celestial species to create us normie humans. They took some physicalness, and then they took some spiritualness, and then wada boo, wada bang. We are here. Get used to it. Oh no, we're killing this world, aren't we? So ancient Sumerians were aware that there were ancient humans. Could that be? Could that be because they coexisted with them? Because if the king's list dates all the way back to almost 300,000 years ago, that means there were Neanderthals in Europe during this time that were also in the Middle East area. There are Homo sapiens in Africa. Homo erectus is still around. The Denisovans, Heidelbergensis, those dwarves on those islands. They are aware of this. They are aware of all of that. And they put it in their mythology and clearly tell us before we do some archaeological bullshit they're telling us there are other humans currently existing on this planet. And at some point, when they go extinct, they're like, yeah, there were other ones. That's mind-blowing to me. Now, now, to continue this topic that I'm currently on, we, I have to quickly move over to Clovis culture. Now... Clovis culture is very interesting, very interesting. It's the group of people that migrated from Siberia through Alaska into North America. And they occupied at one point all the way to Canada to Mexico where they had the same exact culture for 500 years, but it disappeared. Where did it go? Why did it leave? Where did those humans, are they here still? What's going on? Well, here is a reason that is to why they are no more. I have a lot of brain power. So for 500 years, Clovis culture existed in North America from Canada, United States, and Northern Mexico. But where did it go? Well, here is one idea. We hunted the megafauna to extinction. They were everywhere. So we would hunt them the same way for 500 years until they're no more. What gives? 
Is that an idea? Yes, it is. What's another idea? Uh, the a comet hit the North Pole and caused some crazy serious climate change, killing off the megafauna, flooding a lot of shit, and we're, us humans are left to figure it all out in North America. Some will hunt uh, fish up at Lake Erie, others will hunt bison in the New Mexico area. Shit's different. On one hand, a comet could have hit. On the other hand, we could have just hunted them all to extinction. Or maybe it's a combination of both. Who knows? Regardless, the Clovis people turn into other people. I think it's the comet. Now hear me out. We move over to Galepe Tepe. So we have the Sumerian Kings list that says there was a great flood and people were living a long time during ancient prehistoric worlds. And I just told you about Clovis culture, where 1,300,000 years ago, there was a group of humans that went from Canada, America, Mexico with the same exact culture. But for some reason, it disappeared, whether it be comet, super hunting to extinction, or maybe a combination of the two. But in order for me to let any of this make any sense, I need to move over to Anatolia where roughly 12 to 11,000 years ago, there is the first monolithic structure built, and it is called Galepe Tepe. Galepe Tepe is a very old superstructure that was built by hunters and gatherers. Now, there's a lot of interesting things about Galepe Tepe other than just being built by hunters and gatherers. Um, it's because there is a little scribbly on it, and it depicts a comet hitting the Earth. Yeah, crazy. Even crazier, it shows where it's going to hit or where it did hit, one of those two. So that's insane to me, which somewhat confirms, in my opinion at least, it confirms the comet hitting the North Pole. And then once hit the North Pole, created a big flood because all that ice be melting real fast. Earth be thirsty now. Hold on. That feels great. Earth is flooding from all the melting glaciers and it's ravaging the world. Weird, right? That ancient Sumeria has a flood myth. Weird, right? Galepe Tepe. Now it gets to the part where everything goes crazy. Crazy idea. What if Atlantis is real? Because get this shit. Atlantis supposedly existed around this time. Around the time the comet hit. Because Plato and Egyptians talk about how Atlantis was like back in 9000 BC around that time. And the gods got mad at Atlantis for being dumb fucks and destroyed their city with a super flood. Crazy, I know. So what if when the comet hits the earth and the massive flood happens, people at Atlantis knew. And so they built an ark of all the animals they had and whatever was around in North America and Europe and Africa. And they survived the comet impact. And they sail onward to Mount Eret, where they come down and they just go, man, that shit was crazy, holy fuck. Now I'm not saying the whole earth was completely flooded. I'm just saying it was very chaotic and they just kept traveling with the ark until they got to Anatolia, where at one point they would build Galepe Tepe, a memorial to Atlantis. I'm so sorry you had to hear everything I just said. I basically told you where the flood myths come from. You're welcome, I think. That or I scarred your beliefs as a child, sorry. Can you defeat Billy? Yes, sir. You didn't say your line. I did.